So maybe it's just me, but I feel like Marjorie Taylor Greene is going out of her way to prove to everyone that she is the most unhinged member of Congress. But even with that in mind, it's not like she's that much crazier than most elected Republicans. In fact, I think she's probably pretty representative of the median GOP voter. The Republicans of the 2010s, the Sarah Palins of the world, they look sane in comparison to today's Republican Party. And, you know, to think that someone like her being in power scared us then. I mean, we lived through a Donald Trump presidency and they're still shifting further to the right. There are elected Republicans to the right of Donald Trump. And that should really scare everyone because there's no limit, right? They're conspiratorial, anti-vax. In one state, they've brought back executions by firing squads. In Tennessee, uh, they just advanced a bill that would subvert the Supreme Court's ruling on uh, same-sex marriages, but also it simultaneously effectively legalizes child marriages. I mean, there is no limit to how low they are willing to sink. And Marjorie Greene, uh, she decided to respond to something that Supreme Court nominee Ketanji Brown Jackson said. Uh, she refused to play the GOP's games and she didn't define a woman when she was asked to. She said she's not a biologist. And I mean, that's the only way that you can answer that question. This is a Supreme Court nominee. She's not going to have to determine the definition of a woman. So it's idiotic to try to play this gotcha with, with her. I mean, be serious, right? You should be asking serious questions. But Marjorie Taylor Greene didn't like that she didn't answer that question, and she tried to prove how easy it is to define what a woman is. But take a look at the way that she describes a woman. First and foremost, her definition is absolutely batshit fucking insane. But what she says about women, uh, it, it should make reasonable women cringe, and actually just make everyone who's reasonable cringe because what she says is uh, a little bit of a yikes, if you ask me. Question, what is a woman? Because she said she's not a biologist. I'm gonna tell you right now, what is a woman? This is an easy answer. We are a creation of God. We came from Adam's rib. God created us with his hands. We are, we may be the weaker sex, we are the weaker sex. But we are our partner, our husband's wife. What she said isn't just sexist, but it's genuinely stupid. It's an antiquated way of thinking. And her being a member of Congress kind of invalidates that view. It suggests that she doesn't actually believe that. Because if she genuinely believed that women were the weaker sex, then she should resign. Right? Don't her constituents deserve someone from the stronger sex, someone who's more capable according to her? So why are you in power when a man should be in your position, Marjorie Green? Shouldn't you be in the kitchen? I mean, this is the logic that an elected female Republican is espousing. Don't you have any self self worth? and dignity. Think about the way that she described women. Oh, you know, we we came from Adam's rib and we're meant to be companions. To men so you don't have your own autonomy women can't have their own desires women can't be strong themselves i mean why would you want to promote this as a woman you're essentially advocating for your own subjugation but why say this i i, I feel like there's no way she believes this because again she wouldn't be running for congress she would cede this position to a man but think about if marjorie taylor green i mean she's crazy in 2022 right but imagine if she was born in i don't know 1899 and there was this argument over whether or not women should have the right to vote which side do you think she'd fall on i mean she'd be the most extreme she'd be against it she'd be vocally advocating for women to not have the right to vote it doesn't matter what era she's in if she's this extreme in 2022 just imagine what she'd be saying if she were born in a, in a different century i mean it's stupid that she thinks this. And when I say stupid, I know a lot of people think, well, Mike, you know, that's not substantive. You're just resorting to ad hominem attacks. But no, I think she's genuinely stupid. And when I say that, I mean, she has a low IQ. And a different story about her further demonstrates this point. So as Jordan Corney of The Hill explains, Senate Democrats backed by three GOP senators voted on Monday night to break a deadlock on Judge Kentaji Brown Jackson's Supreme Court nomination, paving the way for her to be confirmed by the end of the week. Senators voted 53 to 47 to formally discharge Jackson's nomination to the full Senate. It's the first time the Senate has had to take the procedural step for a Supreme Court nominee since 1853. GOP Senators Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, and Mitt Romney voted with Democrats to make Jackson's nomination available for a full Senate vote. So, in other words, 
just three Republicans chose to be at least temporarily reasonable and advance her nomination. But do you want to know what Marjorie Greene said in response to her GOP colleagues daring to be somewhat reasonable? This is what she said. Murkowski, Collins, and Romney are pro-pedophile. They just voted for KBJ. They're pro-pedophile because of the way that she ruled on certain cases. Them supporting her means they are pro-pedophile. I mean, there's there's so much to say in response to that. But first of all, this you, <laughs> yeah, it seems like the people that you hang out with are a little bit sus themselves. And second of all, the definition of slander is as follows. The action or crime of making a false spoken statement damaging to a person's reputation. Now, what makes defamation lawsuits so difficult to prove is you have to prove that there was malintent. With Marjorie Greene, it's evident that there is malintent. She constantly makes slanderous statements like this. So in the event, one of these uh, Republicans who she called pro-pedophile wanted to sue her for defamation, there's a likelihood that she's so brazen that they could actually win that defamation lawsuit. That's how stupid Marjorie Greene is. She doesn't even realize what she's doing, slandering her GOP colleagues to the point where they could actually plausibly sue her for defamation and win. Now, let me be let me be very clear here. I despise Mitt Romney, Lisa Murkowski, and Susan Collins. But you can't just make up things about people you don't like. You can't just say that they're pro-pedophile because you don't like them and you have political disagreements with them. I wouldn't just say Marjorie Greene is pro-pedophile because she hangs out with Matt Gates, because that would be slander. And I don't have evidence to prove that she's pro-pedophile. You can't just make things up about people. But yet she does. I mean, how old is Marjorie Greene? She's got to be in her 40s at least. But I think she's in her 50s. And she's like a child. She just makes things up about people. They're pro-pedophile. They're a uh, jihad. Isn't that what she said about uh, Ilhan Omar? She said they're part of the jihad squad. She echoed what Lauren Boebert said. She just makes slanderous things up about people. It's only a matter of time before somebody uh, she pisses off has enough money and power that they outright sue her. And perhaps the Republicans like Mitt Romney and Susan Collins are being nice to keep the peace. But she's going to piss off the wrong person and she's going to get sued. You can't just make shit up about people, Marjorie Greene. So, I mean... She's slandering her GOP colleagues, of all people. She is uh, saying that women are the weaker sex. I mean, at this point, she's so unhinged, I wouldn't be surprised if she showed up to Congress and just, like, took a dump on the House floor. That's how insane she is. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad, very sad. I'm unsubscribing.